I see. Now that you and Ferdinand brought the cart up here, we'll need the Hydroidolans to fix the area below. Them again, huh? Seems the Hydroidolans are really important around this place. Yes, of course. Not only do they keep the junction turning, they operate practically everything else in the domain, too. All right. Seems most of the tracks and junctions have been repaired now. Yep. So maybe it's time you give credit where credit is due, hmm? What? You think you deserve the credit? If anything, we should be thanking these travelers. Uh, you? Well, either way, you're not the one getting any credit. You're always quick to criticize my ideas and push your own, but you never actually get anything done. And what about you? Don't forget it was Hado and I who took care of the mess that one time you impulsively tried one of your brilliant ideas. Uh, speaking of Hado, wasn't he with you? I left early this morning. I assumed he'd be with you. Seriously? Couldn't you have at least looked to see where he was before you left? Hey, come on! You didn't see him either, so what's your excuse? Clee? I don't get it. Nobody did anything bad. Why are they arguing? I... Uh, I just don't like his smug attitude, that's all. Who are you calling smug? If anything, you're the one who's making such a big fuss right now. All right, I think we've heard enough from you two. If you insist on bickering, then I'd suggest you go somewhere else. Otherwise, I'll just cool you two off myself. Uh... <sighs> now, come with me. I'd like to have a word with you. Phew. Don't be upset, Glee. There are many complicated situations in this world which don't always have a logical explanation. As a passing traveler here, it's not my place to comment on their disputes. But in my experience, family issues can be the toughest to resolve. Seems you don't like dealing with this kind of thing either, Kokomi. But it's still not right. I don't know how to explain my feelings. I'm sorry. We've calmed down. We shouldn't argue in front of a child like that. We're sorry, Klee. It's okay. Back to the topic at hand. Weren't you about to go look for your brother, Hado? Ah, right. Our best guess is he's somewhere around the Torrential Twister. We would have to use the junction to send the cart to another area. Sorry to trouble you again, but would you help us find him? Oh, um, all right. <sighs> hey, come on, you two! You're brothers after all! Can't you try to get along?
Okay, this is the end of this track segment. Auto should be nearby. I shall treasure this good fortune. Ah, I guess you had repaired the tracks and stations as soon as I saw a cart come zipping along. <coughs> now that the tracks, station, and carts are all repaired, we're about ready to reopen Torrential Twister. It will be good to see my design back in action again. <sighs> You're in no condition to be out running around like this, Hato. <laughs> yeah, but these are unusual circumstances. <coughs> That's true, but you should stop to think things through. Exactly. If there's anything that needs to be done, you can just let Ferdinand and I take care of it. <laughs> you and Ferdinand? Together? It would be a miracle for you two to do anything together without fighting. Hey! That's between Jeremy and me. No need to add fuel to the fire, okay? Uh, I'm not trying to make trouble. I'm just saying. <coughs> hey, Ferdinand? Oh, uh, don't worry. We're not arguing, Clee. We're just, uh, discussing some things. Are you and Jeremy worried about Hado? Hmm? Why don't you just talk to him about it? Kaya's also worried about me sometimes, but he doesn't ever criticize me. You're right, but our relationship is much better than these guys. Uh, well, our situation is a little different. Really? How so? We've been through this kind of thing before. If we didn't warn Hado, then he wouldn't take it seriously and something would eventually happen. As his brothers, we have to help him. But it doesn't look like you're helping. Huh? Maybe Klee doesn't understand everything. But my mommy told me that you help someone to make them feel happy, not to make yourself happy. Hado sure doesn't look very happy. Why don't you ask him what he needs? Hmm. Please right, you know. You three need to open up and talk things through. You are brothers after all. <sighs> I, um... Ahem. I've always cared a lot about you, Hado. Just like when we were back in the desert. You suddenly passed out and Jeremy and I started arguing. Eventually all three of us ended up in this domain. I'm just worried that something similar could happen again. If you were to pass out and with nobody around to help you... <sighs> I know, but this domain is nowhere near as dangerous as the desert. I was thinking that if I could handle these problems myself, then you two wouldn't have to argue about anything. If it weren't for my poor health and lack of energy all the time, then I wouldn't have always been such a burden on you two. No need to feel guilty, Hado. This was our choice. The three of us love adventuring. No one is a burden on anyone. Isn't that why we came up with the idea for this area? 
I would do the thinking, Ferdinand would use his muscle, and you would... Draw the blueprints and build tracks. It'll be a safe way to see all kinds of amazing scenery. Yes, that was the plan. <laughs> see? Doesn't it feel better just to get along? Hey, what are you trying to say? You make it sound like I've only been trying to talk myself up. The choo-choo cart is great, Ferdinand. Really? You know, Clee, having the car zip along the tracks was my idea. Yeah, what an amazing idea! You're so smart! Hey, Clee, do you want to ride even more fun carts? Yay! Let's ride more! Looks like all three of them are trying to win Clee's approval now. Clee hasn't realized it yet. But her innocent, childlike nature is very powerful. It can inspire and even help heal others. Hey everyone, please come with me. We need to get the Hydro Eidolon in the cart to help us. Good. Torrential Twister is ready to run now. Let's go to the station at the start of the track. Hado and I have double-checked everything. It's all operating safely. You can go for a ride now. Hold on a sec. Before we say goodbye, I have something I'd like to give you all. It's a rock climbing rope. We used it on our adventures to climb mountains and traverse many places. Huh? But doesn't it mean a lot to you? Are you sure you want to give it to us? Yes, of course. Please take it. Thanks to Klee and everyone else's help, we realize that there's a special bond that keeps us together. Even though it's invisible, it's even more important than rope. We can always hold on to it through tough situations. Huh? I helped? <laughs> yes, Klee. You are a big help. Even bigger than that huge thing in the middle of this place? Yes. Much bigger. Wow, that's huge! I'm so happy! By the way, have you ever seen anything like the choo-choo cart in the outside world? Nope. Today was the first time I rode anything like it. Is that so? <coughs> I guess I'm not surprised. Seems you won't find Torrential Twister anywhere else. Be sure to come back and ride the choo-choo carts again while you still have the chance. Yep, I will. Be sure to come back and visit Torrential Twister again. I hope you enjoyed it. Hey, imagine if we could build our tracks all over the world. Traveling would be so much easier. <coughs> Thanks again. I have a feeling we'll get along much better now that we've learned to open up to each other. I suppose some things are simpler than they appear. The real problem all along was actually us.
even higher than I expected. The drops are pretty steep, too. Are you okay, Kokomi? If you're scared, just yell and let it out. We won't tell anyone. What happens in the bottle domain stays in the bottle domain. Sort of makes sense. Wait, but if being able to fly makes you a mage, what does that make Kaya, since he's here too? Nothing! Kaya's just a master thief! Don't you remember, Paimon? Hmm. Oh, right! Guess it slipped Paimon's mind. <laughs> Sorry to bother our young mage. But there's something a master thief would like to report. Do you still remember our mission? Uh-oh. I was having so much fun that I almost forgot. We're supposed to be helping Adia look for the missing components. But don't worry. I've already got one. You mean you snatched it when we weren't looking? <laughs> I didn't have to go that far. In fact, the component we were searching for was actually that orange rope. If anything, you could say it came right into our hands at the right time. Let's head back and give it to Adia. Aw, do we really have to go? <sighs> okay. Even though I want to keep playing, I know Adia is really important. And that's our wise mage. <sighs> Don't worry. Tonight, you'll be able to see stars in the water and watch fish dance in the sky. Uh, seems Kokomi's out of it after that ride. Her face is completely blank and her lip was trembling while she was speaking. <sighs> Maybe we should have a rest for a while. Uh, huh? I thought I was keeping my composure pretty well. Don't worry, my mind is always spinning. I'm used to this. We should head back to Idea. How about we hold hands, Miss General? Klee will give you energy. Uh -huh. After holding Klee's hand, the stars in the sky and the fish in the water have all disappeared. I must have been seeing things from riding the cart. <sighs> hmm? What are you smiling about, Kokomi? Uh huh? Oh. <laughs> Um, <clears throat> nothing. Nothing at all. Welcome back! Well, any good news? No, oh, don't tell me! You've taken care of all the problems and now I don't have to do anything? Yeah, we even wrote
about the choo-choo cart. Do you want to come ride, too? <sighs> uh, but maybe you'll have to wait till tomorrow. I'm a little tired now. Hmm. Seems she had a little too much fun, and now she's about to crash. <laughs> I think it's time for a rest. Good idea. I think we could all use some downtime. Thanks for giving me some energy, Klee. Then we'll see you later. Hi, Mr. Honorary Knight. Hi, everyone. Well, it sounds like our young mage enjoyed herself. I'm so happy that she had a good time. So, back to the missing component. Did you bring it? You bet! Kaya said that the missing component was this orange climbing rope. Ah, it just occurred to me that you probably ran into the three brothers while you were in the canyon. If I remember correctly, the two eldest brothers were taking their sickly younger brother on adventures when they ran into a sandstorm and ended up here. They were all arguing with one another when they first arrived, but it wasn't long before they broke down and were huddled together in tears. Ah... <sighs> They sure must have a lot of energy to keep up their bickering and adventuring every day. I'm a little worried about them, yet quite envious of all that energy. <laughs> you almost sound as if you're reminiscing about old friends, Idia. Yes, I've known them for quite some time after all. But I seldom go to that area. You can hold on to the rope for now, Traveler. I have no use for it until we have the other components. By the way, Eula and Kale have also returned, but I'm afraid they weren't able to make much headway. They mentioned that they would like to head to the jungle north of here, once you have all rested up. Now that I've told you everything, I'll go rest. Uh, I mean, I'll go and check on the situation in the remaining two areas. Do you need me to accompany you? Oh, uh, no, it's all right. You've already accomplished a lot today. You should rest up. 